This is KSFY Action News This Morning. There's a lot you can learn about your heart by being inside one today. We're out here live at the Mega Heart Exhibit at the Avera Heart Hospital. How you can get involved later today. All right, we've got a major thing coming up today. It's almost like a bouncing castle that's educational. I was educational, really hoping for bouncing. But you but can't bounce in it. Right. No. Yeah, but it's more educational. A major health tour set up ready to go to teach us all about our country's number one killer, which is heart disease. And it is called the Mega Heart. It's a giant walkthrough exhibit. It teaches about the heart in a very hands-on and interactive way. And I think we're taking a tour this morning. Action News reporter Rachel Gabrielson is joining us live from the Avera Heart Hospital. And tell us, uh, tell us whereabouts you are in, in the heart. Well, I'm actually right by the heart right now. It's uh, right here to my left. I'm actually standing near the aorta, which is something I don't usually go live by every morning, but you know, something different every time. And I'm actually joined live by Lauren Hill uh, with the Megan Heart, Mega Heart. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here this morning. First, tell us a little, a little bit about why someone should come out here this morning. Well, the whole point of this exhibit is to educate people about the heart, the way the heart functions, then the most common diseases that affect our society, and then um, the common treatment options, the modern technology that doctors have at their disposal to treat all of the heart problems. And also the main thing is prevention. A lot of heart disease can be prevented through diet and exercise, and so we kind of want to bring awareness to all of these things. So if we walk inside a little bit, we're actually going to go in through the aorta, right? Right. All right, so, so we're going in. So James, the photographer, is going to have to come in as well. So this is kind of backwards how most people would, would come in, yes, right? Right. This is the this is kind of the opposite of the way the blood would flow. Normally. The opposite way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Normally the uh, blood flows out of the aorta and keeps the brain and the lungs and the rest of the heart. So where are we? Uh, what are we standing by now? Now we're we're in the left ventricle of the heart, and this is actually one of the diseases I was speaking about. This is okay. called endocarditis infection, and it's kind of like vegetation. It's plaque buildup, and it kind of gets ooey and gooey and sticks to the walls of the heart and this is actually one of the things that can eventually lead to a heart attack so it's really important to get your heart checked out because of because you could get a certain disease something like this and you said a disease like this we were talking a little bit ago could actually be caused by by you know, not brushing your teeth yeah. something that well um this particular disease endocarditis infection yeah it could be something as simple as some plaque buildup on your teeth and, and if you already have a weakened heart, it could migrate down to your heart and actually cause an infection in the heart. Now this is something you obviously very you know feel very passionately about. You know, why is this so so important to you? Do you think that lives can be saved by learning more about this? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of heart disease is preventable, and so I mean, it could be as simple as a checkup. A lot of times, people don't even know that they're having a heart attack. There are no warning signs, so it's really important to go and get your annual checkup and make sure that your heart is functioning properly and especially in today's society with uh, you know so much obesity and especially with children children can relate if you're a visual learner that's what the purpose of this exhibit is to really see and to understand how this how these actual diseases will affect you and you kind of walk the way that blood naturally flows right you go in through the right. vena cava and right. then and then all the way through and out through the aorta is that out right the aorta so normally the heart has four chambers and it's kind of it would be be like the same as this could have been two stories but what we do is we walk through the superior vena cava which is the largest vein that feeds the heart and then we we go through an, a septal defect which is a congenital defect in the heart and then we go through uh, to the left ventricle which is where we're standing now the um, left uh, and then out through the aorta where the blood uh, feeds the rest of the body yeah. So, so if you can make your way out to the Avera Heart Hospital today, you can stand in a left ventricle, just like I am this morning. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. we got a lot more to talk about. Next half hour, we are with someone who actually went through a heart transplant. Rachel Gabrielson, KSFY Action News, in a left ventricle. <laughs> right. How many times do you get to say that, Rachel? Thank you so much. This is probably Thanks, the Rachel. once and only. <laughs> we'll be back again with you in a little bit. And today you can check out the Mega Heart exhibit from 8.30 this morning until 6.30 tonight. There will also be a health fair at the Heart Hospital from 4 this afternoon until 6.30 this evening. That's in conjunction with. And tomorrow the event runs from 8.30 a.m. until noon. Good stuff.